I'd like to share a movie quote. Don't ever let someone tell you, you can't do something. Not even me, all right? You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves, they want to tell you, you can't do it. If you want something, go get it, period. That was a quote by Chris Gardner, played by Will Smith in the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. It's such a great movie about personal struggle, overcoming adversity, and with sheer willpower and grit. It's a real story of how a man made his dreams come true. Folks, have you ever felt a point in your life where it feels like all the odds were stacked against you? Your business or career is experiencing fundamental shifts in a negative way. Or randomly, there's more frictions in your relationships. Or key clients and projects doing an about face and going completely in a different direction that catches you off guard. Are you sitting there asking yourself, what in the world just happened? There's another quote I want to share with you. Be a game changer. The world is already full of players. No matter what path you are on or want to be on, There's two types of people. Either you think you're a player and you play the game, or you change the game and how you want to play it. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you the concept of a thermometer versus a thermostat, what it means to be a wave maker, and action steps on shifting your mindset to becoming more of a game changer rather than a player. Let's cue the intro. Welcome to the Boom Vision Podcast. I am your host, Benjamin Ye. This show is about giving you the perspectives and framework on how to gain clarity and unlock your hidden breakthroughs. It's time for you to live an extraordinary life that you design. Let's get to work. Hi folks, welcome back to Boom Vision. This is the ninth episode of Boom Vision, and if you're into numerology, the number nine is a very powerful number. The number nine represents completion, since it's the last of the single digit numbers and is the highest in value. I wanted to share a topic that has surprisingly been popping up a few times this past month that I felt was relevant and appropriate for today's episode. The difference between thermometer versus a thermostat. So what's the difference between the two? A thermometer by definition, is an instrument for measuring and indicating temperature in its environment or surrounding. A thermostat is a device that automatically regulates temperature, changing the environment it's in. So why am I sharing about the difference between these two? In the past month, I brought this comparison to my clients because I noticed that their mindset was operating through a thermometer mindset. Here's some examples. An old client that an entrepreneur has had a long-standing reoccurring revenue with gave notice that they're about to do a 180 and go with a different vendor. A client's relationship with their spouse was strained because they were unable to have meaningful conversations and connect on a deeper level. A third example is that the person was having fights with their spouse in a more escalated way than before, and she didn't know how to defuse it. The main difference between a thermometer versus a thermostat is that a thermometer only reads the temperature around it. It completely lets the environment dictate how it reads internally. All external forces impact how it feels and reacts internally. What about a thermostat? They change the environment around it. If it's too cold, you know what? It'll kick it into 76 degrees temperature and it won't stop until the environment rises to 76 degrees and it's comfortable. And vice versa, if it's too hot, it'll kick it down to a lower temp. A thermostat doesn't allow the outer environment dictate the temperature it feels internally, but instead does the opposite. If it doesn't like what it's feeling, it will influence and change the environment until it rises to how it sees fit. Knowing this difference, How are you going about your day? Do you have a thermometer or a thermostat mindset? What's interesting is that the way we do anything is the way we do everything. And yet, there may be situations in your life, whether it's at work, your business, or your relationships, 
where you might have a more thermometer mindset approach, whereas others you might have a more thermostat approach. Have you ever asked yourself in a calm state of mind, why is that? What might be the root cause in how you're reacting or responding in the way that you do? What is stopping you from having a thermostat mindset if you're currently stuck in a thermometer mindset? So let's break it down with the three core pillars. Imagination. Is it because you haven't seen what's possible and what you want to create, so they don't know what to imagine or visualize? Or is it voice? Is your old SOS, subconscious operating system, does it have an old programming language that frankly just doesn't serve you and bring out your inner light and potential that you don't realize you innately have within you already? Or is it three, intuition? Do you feel you have emotions clogged because you've been suppressing or avoiding to fully feel the emotions that you were meant to experience? I'm going to share two statistics. One, 95% of businesses fail within the first five years. 95% of businesses fail within the first five years. Here's a second statistic. 99.99% of toddlers that learn how to walk fail on their first try. Okay, I'll say that again. 99.99% of toddlers that learn how to walk fail on their first try. The difference between your two-year-old self versus now is that your younger self had a blank slate. Without any SOS downloaded into your system, you don't understand the concept of what it means to fail yet. In your attempt to walk, if you fall on your first, second, or third try in taking your first steps, you just, you won't stop there. You get up and you try again. Do you know what FAIL stands for? FAIL, F-A-I-L. It's first attempt in learning. If you reprogram your SOS, if you can bring out your inner child that with a clean mind and hungry for new programming language, we all start with that inner child as thermostats. If we fail, guess what? We get up again and we try again, and we keep trying until we succeed. Do you want another example how we're initially thermostats? There's a really funny quote in a family guy. All right, There's a scene where Stuart is talking to his mom. And he's saying, Lois, 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 mom, 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 mommy, 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 mama, mama, mama. Okay, you can imagine I could go on for another several minutes, but that's exactly how the scene plays out. And if you have kids... You know what I'm talking about. I could be a bathroom taking number two and my daughter would be knocking on my door going, Dad, 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 and trying to open a door handle. And you know what? Kids just don't stop. They don't know how to stop, right? Because they completely have a thermostat mindset. And seriously, think about that. As toddlers, their mindset is already pre-wired as thermostats. They have this way of being where they just don't stop until they get what they want. So what happened to us over the years? How come as we grow older, we somehow lose that element of embodying a thermostat? This is the awareness I want to bring to your attention because I feel that if you can shift your mindset from being more of a thermostat rather than a thermometer, guess what? You're increasing your ability to manifest what you want in life in your career, in your business, in your relationships, all of the above. So this leads to the second concept. What is a wave maker? I'd like to share a quote. You want to be the pebble in the pond that creates the ripple for change. Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, said that. As you're thinking of how to shift your old thermometer mindset to a thermostat mindset, Start thinking of how you can create a positive ripples in your environment. When you do, with enough consistency and positive energy, guess what? Those ripples become waves. In essence, you're becoming what I call a wave maker. If you embody in becoming a wave maker with positive intentions, you're shifting the energy within you to naturally become a thermostat. 
This doesn't mean everything needs to be your way or the highway. But what this does mean, if you can first read a temperature in your surroundings, so to speak, allow yourself to be more empathetic of the people around you, your team, your relationships. And in raising your own vibration and energy to a higher state, you'll be able to influence and raise the energy of your surroundings with positive intentions. So the question I have for you is, what does being a wave maker mean to you in your work, in your relationship, in your business, or in life in general? With that said, what are the action steps you can take this week to strengthen your thermostat mindset? There are two action steps I want to share today. The first action step is the CAL method, C-A-L method. C, calm yourself with whatever method works for you to quiet your wind tunnel. This could be meditation, breathing exercises, yoga, or running. As a bonus, this being the ninth episode, I created some music to walk you through a breathing exercise that you can do to show you how easy this really can be. Sit in a relaxed state, somewhere that is quiet. The key to this breathing exercise is to take long, deep breaths. So listen to my voice. We're going to breathe in through our nose. And then we're going to exhale through our mouth. Feel free to express a long sigh so that you're releasing your internal stress, worries, or anxieties. When your exhalation is longer than your inhalation, you activate your parasympathetic nervous system and your body enters a state of relaxation, calming your state of mind. Ready? Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, feel the positive life force in your nose and down to your belly. Exhale and release your stress. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. go down to your belly. Exhale. Release your stress. How is that breathing exercise? Do you feel more calm and relaxed? The key to this exercise is to just focus on your breathing. Your attention should be your nose when you breathe in deep to let the life force energy down to your belly. Your belly should be rising in your inhalation. And when you exhale through your mouth, give a long sigh. <sighs> and in that process, let go of your stress and worries. When you exhale longer than you inhale, you are allowing your body to relax because you're activating your parasympathetic nervous system. I hope this exercise helps. So two, A awareness. Imagine you're standing a few feet away from where you're at and observing yourself in this calm state. It's like having an out-of-body experience. Just look at yourself. When you see yourself, observe the energy you have inside you. Ask yourself this question. Do you sense the energy in and around you more of a thermometer or a thermostat energy? Are you a thermometer or a thermostat at work or in your business or in your relationships? And just be still, observing yourself breathe, taking long breaths as you inhale and exhale, and in that stillness and in the rhythm of breath. Three, L, language. Ask yourself, is the energy within you serving you well in what you want to create in your life right now? Is your current way of being bring out your highest and best in achieving what you want in life? Be candid when you ask yourself this question. Will embodying a thermostat mindset serve you well? 
If it does, how does it feel having a thermostat mindset? With this mindset shift, do you carry yourself differently? Are you dressed differently? Instead of saying things like, it is what it is, what if you ask yourself the question, what can I do to raise the energy in this situation? What can I do to raise the energy within myself? Now, the second action step I want to share is the cold shower exercise. This past week, I've been drawn to this practice of taking cold showers. Now, to highlight some of the benefits of taking cold showers, it's improving overall blood circulation, improving metabolism, increasing your endorphins, which is also known as the happiness hormones. There's a lot of benefits in taking cold showers. However, I do want to caution. If you have any signs of heart disease or if you have a low immune system, please check with your doctor first to see if your body is healthy enough to try this exercise because sudden changes in body temperature and heart rate can be overwhelming to your body. With that said, if your body is healthy and optimal to take a cold shower, I'd like to share my version of this cold shower challenge. Before when I took showers, while I'm standing outside the shower stall, I would turn on the hot water that it normally would take between 45 seconds to a minute for the water to warm up. What I do instead for this challenge is that I step inside the shower stall as I'm turning the hot water, waiting for the water to warm up. Now, I gotta say, for the first time when I did this, the water was freaking cold. At first, I was like, oh my god, this is cold. This is such a bad idea. Why in the world that I'm doing this? And all these thoughts were racing in my mind. But what I do in this challenge is that I say out loud, I got this. It's all in my mind. I got this. It's all in my mind. Now, I don't know how it's going to be for your bathroom, but the water in my shower actually drops lower before it warms up. I had to learn this the hard way. But the intention of this challenge is to serve two purposes. The first purpose, you get to receive the benefits of taking a cold shower, but in an easier way, assuming that it takes between 45 seconds to 60 seconds for your water to warm up. The second purpose is to train your mind. If you can focus and control your mind to withstand what your outer body might be initially feeling, and instead focus on your words, your breathing, your mental state, guess what? This is a really a fantastic way to train how to embody the thermostat mindset. The mantra I say is that I got this, it's all in my mind. I got this, it's all in my mind. <sighs> I got this, I am warm. I got this, I am warm. And when I say I am warm, I visualize this image where I'm giving myself this big, warm bear hug around my body. If you've ever seen that movie, Big Hero 6, I imagine that I'm Baymax giving myself this big old hug and just enveloping myself and just warming myself up. And as I'm repeating, I got this. I am warm. I'm actually slowing the pace that I'm saying this. My experience in doing this challenge for the last couple days is that I am consciously controlling my mind to snap out of the immediate reaction of my outer environment. Instead, I'm saying to myself, I am in control of the situation. And you know, it feels awesome when I can slow down the pace as I'm saying, I got this. I am warm. <sighs> I'm just breathing as I'm saying it. And I'm visualizing, giving myself that big bear hug. I actually feel my heart slowing down. And as the hot water starts to actually kick in, oh my God, it feels awesome. And it actually makes my shower feel so much more enjoyable. Let me know if this cold shower challenge works well for you. And so, final thoughts for today's episode. There's a movie quote I want to share. It's not possible. No, it's necessary. That was by Cooper, played by Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar.
It gives me the chills every time I watch that movie, particularly that scene. Not only is Interstellar one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time, but that scene is so powerful because I can feel the emotion and energy when Cooper says that quote. It's a life and death situation, but no matter how much the odds were stacked against him in that specific moment, it didn't matter. When you are absolutely in the zone of being a thermostat, nothing will get in your way of making it happen. You do everything that's necessary to accomplish your goal because you're locked in with sheer determination. There's another quote I'd like to share. Don't ever allow yourself to feel trapped by your choices. Take a look at yourself. You are a unique person created for a specific purpose. Your gifts matter. Your story matters. Your dreams matter. You matter. That was shared by Michael Orr. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Being your authentic self, are you inspired to be a wave maker? Does having a thermostat mindset serve you well in the path that you are creating for yourself to live a life full of passion and happiness and how you define it? You have a unique purpose and your gift matters. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. You've got this. If you enjoyed today's episode, please share this with someone that you feel can really benefit from hearing today's message. If this show is adding value in your life, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to this Boom Vision podcast and share the love. Until next time, folks, be kind to yourself, be in the light, be you. Thank you so much for tuning in to my Boom Vision podcast. If you'd like to find out more about me in this podcast, head over to benjaminye.com. That's spelled B E N J A. M-I-N-Y-E-H dot com. If you haven't already, click subscribe and I'll catch you next time.